remember his name because it's one of my favorite things that I put in my mouth, in my salad, like vinegar. <laughs> James Balsamo! Let's hear it! So like I said, I've had terrible jobs. I worked as a production assistant on the Gene Simmons Family Jewel Show. I know it's not natural. I had to get surgery. Just for that joke. So one day we were filming in Chinatown and uh, my boss gets on the radio and he goes, James, uh, Gene Simmons is hungry. You gotta get him a grilled chicken wrap. So uh, I was optimistic. I, uh, I'm like, copy, I start walking around Chinatown. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Chinatown, but there is nowhere to get a grilled chicken wrap. So I get back on the radio, I'm like, I can get you a dead duck on a string. You guys are a sexy crowd. Was it, what happened, a cougar convention let out or something? I figured out how to get rid of bill collectors. You just pretend like you're a sex phone operator. You know, oh, Mr. Balsa, are you aware that you owe us a substantial amount of money? What are you wearing? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, can I get... I want you to do things to me. Well, I, I'm sorry, I believe I have the wrong number. You know, guys or girls, it works. You know, actually, one time I got a guy, and he was like, Mr. Balsa, you know, this is serious, you know. You're going to go into debt collection. That's not funny. You know, I was like, what are you wearing? <laughs> I want you to do things to my body. <laughs> you know? And he's like, I'm not wearing anything. <laughs> oh, oh, God! <laughs> Wrong number! Wrong number! I was accosted by a porn star recently. Uh, adult film star Jasmine St. Clair. Have you heard of her? Uh, I was handing out flyers for a promotional company. First of all, if you're in the adult film business, you shouldn't be called Saint Anything. You're probably scaring a priest somewhere like, Oh, Brother Michael, did you see Jasmine St. Clair on the internet? What is she doing with her rosary beads? Father, I don't think those are rosary beads. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm handing out flyers. I'm like, hey, check it out. Hey, check it out. Adult film star Jasmine St. Clair comes up to me and she goes, you are so annoying. The next time I see you, I'm gonna gouge out your eyes with my bare hands. I've seen her pummeled by five guys at once. If she went anywhere near my eyes, it'd be the first time anybody would have to go to an optometrist for a VD checkup, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it hurts when I blink! <laughs> so I turned on the TV and I watched a lot of movies. I'm so tired of like all the same movie premises like over and over again. Like you, you turn on a TV and you see an action movie where a guy's like hanging from a chopper. He's got an like, AK-47 on his shoulder. <sighs> Lower me down! Come on, Ben! You know, there's always a guy named Ben, he's got like a mustache and a cigar, like, you're crazy, man! You know, and you lower down, and the, you're hovering over like a, a glass, like, terrarium. Why do terrorists hang out in terrariums? Like, oh, this is a lovely decoupage bush over here. Oh, jihad, I mean, I mean jihad. So, he like breaks the wind, Arsh! says something witty, like, did I break your concentration? You know, and all the turns like, Ooh! you know, and then he just takes out the AK-47 and he just starts lighting up the room like, Window in there. I'm just like blunt about it. I'm like, dude, 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 dude. Hey, Gene, I wanna bang you. I wanna bang you. Yeah, that's my song. All right. I worked as a referee for a gay wrestling federation. You guys have heard of backyard wrestling? This was backdoor wrestling. 
The announcer would come out in a turquoise sequin tuxedo. In the left corner, wearing neon pink, assless chaps, he'll toss your salad before he tosses you out of the ring. The French tickler and his opponent in the right corner, wearing a polka dotted moo moo and high heel shoes, the dreaded bag, Dr. Drag. And your referee for this evening's event, straighter than the stripes on his shirt, James the Flame Balsamo. And then I come out like, how did I get this gig? French tickler, you ready? Dr. Drake, you ready? <laughs> Ring the bell. Ding! I think the worst kind of scenarios is porno movies, you know? Because they always have sex in inappropriate places. Like right here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, like, uh, like it's a guy doing open heart surgery, and he's like wrist deep in a guy, and the nurse just looks at him like, Oh, let's get it on! You know? And they slide the guy off the slab, and his heartbeat becomes like the porno soundtrack. It's like, beep, 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 <laughs> Support. <laughs> All right. So I became a stand-up comedian because I have the one requirement: I have legs. You never see a paraplegic stand-up comedian because they can't stand up. You know, they roll in. Two lesbians walk into a bar. I know that joke's not politically correct. So uh, I did that at a, a special athletes dinner. I've never heard so many boos in my life. I thought I was at a robotic haunted house. Boo. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, James Balsamo, give it up for him one more time, guys. That was funny and long. Paraplegic. <laughs>